Okay guys, how's everybody doing this evening? Um, I'm going to try and refrain from too many uhs and I'm going to talk a little bit slower because this is uh, this video I am uh, doing a closed caption for the hearing impaired and uh, want to welcome our fellows that uh, are in fact hearing impaired and maybe we can learn something together this evening. Tonight I want to talk about weekly options scalping weekly options on Thursdays and Fridays. Okay, and I'm going to use one example, maybe two, and we're going to talk about Apple. Okay, now I've uh, singled out Apple because of its volatility and because it moves so well. Okay, <clears throat> now if you're looking at Apple intraday Friday you saw a lot of up and down okay uh, it had a move from 699 to 705 and you're thinking to yourself well it's only six dollars uh, and I don't have the money to play Apple well play in the weekly options that expire that day now mind you this is very high risk okay this is for scalps and flips only. You can do quite well if you have that availability. Okay. Now a lot of you are saying, okay, I can't flip. Well, yes, you can. Uh, Options House uh, and a couple of the other brokers will allow one day settlement on options. Okay. And I suggest you check them out. It's optionhouse.com. And I think some of the other brokers, I think Ameritrade, uh, E-Trade, <clears throat> and maybe a couple others also allow it. Uh, if you have a certain amount of funds in your account uh, and you don't use up all of your buying power, you can flip to your little heart's delight and money will all clear the next day. Okay, and you can start the process again the very next day. Okay, so let's look at Apple what happened here uh, we're going back to some uh, bottoms that that Apple put in on Friday okay so we're looking at 1402 which was um, 202 okay was putting in a bottom at around seven hundred and two dollars okay so it makes a move um, let's see, 1402, 1406, it makes a move until about, uh, 1412, so in 10 minutes, there was a $3 move, okay, on the calls, okay, So we're looking at a very nice move from 700 to 703. Now let's look at um, how that would look. And I happen to have, this was the Apple uh, 922, September 22nd, $700 calls. Okay, so you could have gotten in at around $2.50. And been out at 350. Okay, uh, a lot of us were playing this, and uh, we did did quite well. Okay, now let's look at what happens when it hits the top. Okay, and starts coming down. Okay, so you're thinking, all right, this thing has peaked out. Let's look at that chart again. Uh, so do we have a play on the downside here? Okay. Now this is the puts. So let's just take a look. Uh, Your three dollars out. Say you would have bought the seven hundred dollar puts. Okay, let's take a look at that. Let's go back to. Let's change that, and I have to do it this way because this will go away tomorrow, because this is all expired. So we're going to plug in P here. Hit enter. 
And let's just see what happened at, there it is right there. So we're going to, wow. <clears throat> okay, and I know a couple of people bought the puts. Okay, so they're following the chart. Let's look at that chart again for a bottom on the puts, which would mean a peak on the chart at, what did we say a while ago? 1412? There it is. Okay. So you clearly have got on the option chart an, uh, an engulfing candle right here at 1412. Now let's look at the, um, um, at four, there it is right there. Let me enlarge this. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. So if you would have picked up the, let's just look at this, see where this thing goes. Uh, okay, we're going to go to a, let's go to a 100 bar. Let me expand this out a little bit. Wow. Okay. At 14.12, there it is. Okay, say you had were watching the Apple chart. Now, I, I'm using a tick candlestick here, okay? Tick is one movement of the stock, be it up, down, whatever. Um, and I'm using ticks. Uh, if in your particular case, what you could do in a very laid out a chart here is you can use the EMAs if you don't have tick candlesticks available you can use the EMAs okay I've got it set up on a one minute here um, chart period let's go to a there it is right there okay so you can see it falling off I'm using a uh, a one minute with a two hour time frame okay you can see it really falling off there you're gonna get almost the same results using EMAs you can see the breakdown and what I've got here if I've got I'm using an EMA three five and eight why do I use those numbers those are the some of the first numbers on the Fibonacci okay uh, 1, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, okay? Um, that's why I'm using 3, 5, and 8, okay? You, t t you're, you're, you're 50, you're 200, you're 13, you're 9, you're 19, whatever uh, crazy number you're using will not work, okay? If you're doing quick flips, um, they won't work as well, okay? Uh, so you've got to use really tight uh, moving averages okay so there it is using the E's and for what it's worth guys I never use the S's I don't even uh, I don't even look but anyway I'm using the ticks here okay so looking at this move from 1412 to 1424 on the downside okay <clears throat> so we go back to our there it is um, say you had thrown a hundred dollars at it uh, say you picked up uh, let's see here on that there's your confirm right there say you picked up five um, at 20 cents okay and uh, and you would see your your time in sales over here um, which is shows the time in sales on options okay and uh, it's always interesting uh, to watch on message boards where somebody will say that they sold so many number of calls or puts at a particular number, and I don't see it show up here. Uh, <laughs> just saying, just saying. Uh, anyway, uh, um, say you picked it up at 18 or 20 cents. You picked up five contracts. Okay, it's 100 bucks. Okay inside of 12 minutes uh, those five contracts would have been would have maxed out at about four hundred dollars you'd have had a four bagger in 12 minutes but say you were quick 
and you got out at 60 you could triple your money okay that hundred dollars would turn into three hundred dollars by selling at 60 here within nine minutes okay something like that all right so that's how you do the flips on um on Fridays. Okay, now let's look at another one. Um, let's go back to ISRG. And let's look at that bad boy. Okay. And again, these are all same day expire. Uh, and playing a quick scalp, a quick flip. And that's all you're wanting to do. Okay. Absolutely all you're wanting to do. Okay, here, here is our ISRG chart. And say, for instance, you wanted to pick up. Now, you, what you want to look for is a dip below or a move just under or just below a strike price. Okay, so say, for instance, we're looking at ISRG uh, for the five tens. Okay. Um, is there an opening there after it cleared 510 is there an opening for 515 okay because the <clears throat> the high that day was 518 okay so let's look at the ISRG chart and see if we can pull up uh, let's see if they're still gonna now this is not a weekly but uh, let's see if we can get uh, Let's do this. Let's back up. Let's go back to Apple. No, <clears throat> it's not going to let me pull up the ISRG weekly um, or, or monthly from uh, this past month. It's already gone away. Hang on, let's find another one. Okay, here's one. Bank of America. Let's look at what this thing did. Looks like it had a high 935, a low of 908. So let's look at the Friday chart of this and see if we can determine anything on a play on this. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to move this over to 200 ticks. Pull that chart in. Pull it in some more. And there it is. You can see that it, it topped out early at 9.30 right at the open. Okay. And then started drifting down. And within uh, about an hour and a half, it uh, dropped from 9.35 to... 914 which is 20 cents okay so let's look at the chart on that and show you let's just pull up this isn't again it's not going to show um, last week's because they've already expired but let's look at the uh, nine dollar puts for next week okay uh, that's the calls. Let's go back. Let's look at the. There we go. All right, at the open, had you bought puts, you may have been able to get them as low as a nickel or six cents, something like that. Okay. Uh, you'd have been able to double up inside of an hour on Bank of America okay let's find another one okay here we go let's look at Priceline all right Friday nice gap um, and it became a gap and trap real quick here um, it peaked out at around 940 
and started falling apart pretty quick here. So let's look at the uh, price line chart here. So it's at 643. Okay. Say for instance, uh, let's just plug in something here. <clears throat> okay. We've got the 635s, okay, on the put side. All right, now let's look at this chart again and see where this thing started really coming down. And it looked like uh, a couple of spots here, maybe 958. Uh, 940 and then 958 really started so let's just see what that looks like okay put 635 okay we're looking at price line at roughly 1020 maybe 1030 something like that at 641 okay so let's see what that looks like on the put side had you picked up uh, say three or four okay at 1030 there's 1019 it's somewhere around 35 40 cents drops all the way to 30 and then proceeds to take off at around 1050 so you picked up three at 35 cents and I'm using light money here guys and you're out three at 93 okay or if you caught the top three at a dollar 20 so you've You've tripled your money in 40 minutes, okay? And this is how I flip on Fridays, okay? Now, you have to be very careful. I made a mistake. thought I bought one on a particular issue, and I actually bought 10. So you have to be very, very, very careful here, okay? Now, you're asking where do you find the um, available weeklies, okay? You go to the CBOE site, and it gives you an updated uh, version or every couple of weeks or so. And I don't update them every. Just uh, plug in, just Google in CBOE available weeklies, and you'll come up with it. Okay? Starting right here with the ETFs, and it scrolls down to the equities. Okay? Or, of course, you can go to... <clears throat> Option Millionaire Board, Show Intro, and scroll down to the red section, and it's got the um, the watch list. I'm scrolling down here, a couple of watch lists, the S&P, some high beta stocks, and the weekly options. Okay, so if you got any questions, uh, give me a call. I'm going to tell you to go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, with real money after you've uh, been uh, paper trading for a little bit and you've got some experience under your belt you know how to successfully enter and exit a position and make money uh, you're ready to take the next step you know provided you've done this say six out of ten times uh, you're probably ready okay and the only way you're gonna find out is to dip your toe in the water with 50 or 100 bucks okay uh, obviously paper trading is not the same as real trading uh, the emotions uh, the skin in the game is all different but what it will do is test your entries and exits can you buy at one price sell at another and make profit and before you think that's too easy give it a whirl and see if it works for you okay if you think it's that easy, can you do it six out of ten times, okay, or three out of five, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. It's Mikey.